Wow, last month's voting was super close right to the end. All right, time for October's video. I wonder who could be calling. Michael, your time is coming to an end. It is my duty to face in this eventuality. What? Who are you? That is not important, but you may say I'm a former competitor of yours. Regardless, I am here to issue you a challenge. A challenge? What kind of challenge? You will play a game. If you lose a life in the game, you lose your life in reality. What? No way, man. I'm not that good at games. You have no choice. What game is it? Castlevania on the Nintendo Entertainment System. I'm not good enough at this game. I'm gonna die. Wait a second. There we go. What are you doing? Well, you said if I die in the game, I die in real life, right? Yes. Well, if I keep it paused, I can't die. But that's cheating. Is it cheating or just clever? No. Alright, now that that's dealt with, welcome to YouTuber of the Month, the competition that takes small gaming channels and gives them a bit of a highlight in the hopes of promoting community and growth. I'm your host, Mike. YouTuber of the Month has been going on for quite a while now, so if you don't know the history, YouTuber of the Month was founded by Jason Relaxation in 2009 to highlight and support small gaming YouTube channels. He ran it for three years before deciding to retire. Things could have ended there, but Jilpu3 asked and was granted permission to continue the series on his channel. It was then that YouTuber of the Month started to take on its current tradition of passing on annual hosting duties to the winner of YouTuber of the Year. YouTuber of the Month has passed through 14 hosts over the years, each bringing their own style to the competition, and I'm honored to be carrying that torch as a 15th. Now, let's get right into the rules. In order to be eligible, all nominees have to have fewer than 1,000 subscribers. They must be gaming-related channels, and they must contain some retro content. For this competition, we're considering that 6th generation or earlier. They must have an on-screen personality, and there are 5 nominees each month. At least one nominee has to have under 500 subscribers, and at least one has to be international to the person nominating them. Channels can only be nominated once per year, and participants get one vote per month. And now, rest assured that all votes have been counted and verified, and it is my absolute pleasure to introduce you to your YouTuber of the Month for October 2024. Hey everyone, this is James with the Original Masters, and I'm here to present the nominations for October. Paul and Shtick could not be here because Shtick kept complaining about his aching coccyx, so they're currently at the chiropractor. Yeah. First, we'd like to thank John at Retro Projections for the nomination, and Mike for continuing to host this year's nominees. At the Original Masters, our goal is and has always been to put on a show. We've got a wisecracking animatronic skeleton, We've got Paul and his rages that are entirely unscripted, and enjoy him while you can because he's going to have brain damage pretty soon. And Paul and I have been creating videos since 1995, so we're pretty excited to be here and uh, tell the story of Shtick, the undead skeleton who used to be known as Charles, 
and the master he answers to, and the master who's going to be torturing Paul for a long time to come. All right, for our first nomination, we got the Expit Gits, Andrew and Owen. Two guys who seem like they've been friends for a really long time, who have a really natural rapport. They play Master System games for the most part, but they've been starting to play Super Nintendo games. Their videos tend to run on a longer side, so it's great for when you want to relax and get some real natural but fun engaging commentary on these titles that they choose, and they share lots of anecdotes, personal anecdotes sometimes, that, uh, just, just a really great channel, one of my favorites. Check them out. Alright, for nomination number two, we've got The Video Place. Now, you might remember back in the day when you'd go into a 7-Eleven, and not only would you see games up there to be rented, we're talking like 1987 and 1988, but you'd also see movies. So, back in the day, it was interchangeable. You might rent two movies, you might rent two games and one movie, etc. And here he kind of covers both with a focus on horror movies and classic pickup games that he's found at local shops and stuff like that. Cool channel, check it out. Alright, for our third nomination we've got Master System Marceau. Marceau is a very good gamer. He holds world records in several Sega Master System and Game Gear games. It's no joke. And uh, he's always showing me games I never played before and uh, he's just an all-around good guy and interesting stuff and lots of crazy scores you can challenge yourself to beat them good luck all right for our next nomination we've got benji's retrospectives man i really like this channel not only does he have a cool intro he intersperses cool special effects here and there and he keeps his videos to a very brisk pace about five minutes review videos bite-sized for one like most of us you don't have much time really entertaining great sense of humor Check him out. All right, last up on our list for nominees is Paul Acevedo. He's a gaming journalist, and as long as I've been a member of the Facebook group Consoles and Handhelds, he's provided uh, really strong articles and commentary on often overlooked modern independent games, all sorts of stuff. He's a strong voice in our community, and uh, I really recommend you check him out. All right, so that wraps it up for this month. We want to thank everyone again for voting us in as YouTuber of the Month for September. Hopefully we'll see you back in December with Shtick and Paul, if his butt's feeling any better. Thanks, Mike. Take it away. Hey, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to congratulate the original Masters on being voted YouTuber of the Month for October. And of course, congratulations to all our nominees for November. A reminder to all nominees, if you let your supporters know that you've been nominated and tell them how to vote, it will greatly increase your chances. So spread the word. Thank you for watching and good luck.